Simon, let me give you the real test, okay? How many lies have you told in your life? Probably a lie. You ever stolen something? Yeah. So you're a lying thief? Do you still think you're a good person? No. <laughs> have you ever used God's name in vain? Probably, yeah. Okay, it's blasphemy. It's very yeah. serious. Now, Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever done that? Yeah. So you're in big trouble on Judgment Day. That's how high God's standards are. So on Judgment Day, you're going to be innocent or guilty. Heaven or hell? Does that concern you? So what are you going to do? How can you be saved from hell? No. You don't know? No. Do you know what God did to save you from hell? Jesus died on the cross for you, took your punishment. You know what you have to do to be saved? If you repent and trust in Him, Simon, God will give you everlasting life. I wouldn't lie to you. Okay? When are you going to do that? Right now? Do you really mean it? Do you have a Bible at home? Uh, yeah. Please dig it out. This is so important. You know, this is where you're going to spend eternity. Thanks, Thanks for talking to me, Simon. Uh, Thanks, Tracy. God bless you. Bye-bye. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Throughout history, Christians have been arrested, beaten, and murdered for their faith. Today, the persecution continues. The Voice of the Martyrs is serving the persecuted church wherever believers suffer for the name of Jesus Christ. The Voice of the Martyrs.